Acupuncture is not just for people anymore. It's for pets like Piglet here, too. Certified animal acupuncturist Tom Ingenio joins us to show us how this is done. Good morning. Thanks for being morning. here. Thanks for and having for, me. And for bringing Piglet here yeah. with you as well. Now, I know that you give acupuncture to Piglet. Mm -hmm. What for? What, what's wrong with Piglet? Well, Piglet actually herniated several discs in his back, and he had surgery for it, but he had some lingering hip, low back pain, and leg weakness. Mm -hmm. So when it flares up, when it gets a little too aggressive, we do a little treatment for him and clear it right up pretty quickly. What's the difference when you put the acupuncture in? What, what does it actually do for him? Well, one of the theories from a Western standpoint is that it increases circulation to the area. A lot of times they'll call an acupuncture needle an artificial splinter in Japan. Uh -huh. And what happens is we penetrate the skin, the body recognizes there's something here that isn't normally here. So it sends fresh blood to the area to try and heal. When it gets to that area, it sees the holes very small. But while we're here, there's some inflammation, there's an injured joint, let's work on that. Well, I know you brought some needles here and you're actually going to yes, show us how this is done and how you treat Piglet. And while you're doing that, I just wanted to ask you, you know, how, how long have you been treating Piglet this way, first well, of all? Well, Piglet had this injury probably about three years ago. Okay. So he's doing pretty well now, but every once in a while, damp there's weather, that. cold weather, will start to get a little stiff. And so you go ahead with the needles. Yeah. What are these needles? Is there something in them or are no, they just... No, these are actually solid needles. Oh. And these are actually human needles for the ear. Okay. Um, we use the same needles we would on a human as we do on animals. Yeah. We don't need to go that deep. So but where do you put them then? Depending on what's going on with the animal, we go to areas that are local and we do some distal points on meridians or channels that have an effect on a different area. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times, this is Piglet's left back leg that seems to have the biggest issues. We do things in the hips. Oh, and he didn't flinch at all. At most, normally, what you'll see from animals is a small twitch Good in the skin, goodness. and that's an evolutionary Good thing, boy. so they can flick off flies. They have a, a layer of muscle kind of right below the skin. When you first started doing it, did he react more? Because right now, he's being so good. Um, you know, the weird thing with, with neurological Good conditions, boy. he went completely lame in this back leg. Uh -huh. When the feeling starts coming back, you actually start feeling nerve sensations. Right. So as he was getting better, he'd start to look at me like, what What's are you doing on? to me? Um, overall though, I mean, this is, this is pretty much the reaction we get from dogs, cats, horses. They're, they're relatively calm. Piglet's uh, one of these brachiocephalic <laughs> dogs, so he's always a little noisy. Yeah. But, um, do you treat a lot of dogs? I know Piglet obviously is one of your clients. Yes. Do you treat a lot of other animals? Um, yeah, my, my practice probably right now is about two-thirds humans uh -huh. and then a third animals, uh, mostly dogs, some cats. Uh, some bunnies yeah. here and there. Well, this is ancient medicine. I know it goes, yes. it dates way, way back. Are you starting to see it more? Are you starting to see more, more coworkers? Coworkers, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it, the field is definitely increasing. Uh, animal acupuncture is definitely a lot smaller. It's a lot more niche mm -hmm. than uh, human acupuncture. But, but certainly in the last 10 years that I've been working on people, it, it's really exploded. I'm getting a lot more referrals from doctors and, and now from vets as well. This is incredible. I mean, Piglet has these needles in right now and he's just fine. Are there other kinds of needles too that have stuff in them? You know, that's, that's a separate thing. Uh, acupuncture works based on causing the body to have the reaction you want. Yeah. Uh, there are injection needles. There are therapies where they will inject herbs or drugs or uh, even Novocaine, Lidocaine, these kind of things to numb mm -hmm. pain, but that's something yeah. different. Uh, well, it's related, but different. Well, I am so excited. We're going to have you stick around because we sure. want to see, you know, what it's like when we actually take these needles out of Piglet and see how he's doing at that time. So, Tom, sure. thank you oh, no, so much. And Piglet, you're doing great, man. Other than that snorting, huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, we are going to check back in with Tom. So stay tuned to see how Pig Piglet is doing. And I have a feeling he's going to be doing pretty well. Still to come on Fox 45, Good Day Baltimore. The trial and the death of Michael Jackson resumes. Why the medical examiner says Jackson was murdered. And a photo of Jackson's body. We're also going to show you that. See, I'm really scared. Plus, a fall tradition turns into a nightmare after one family gets lost in a corn maze. 927 is your time. You're watching Fox 45, Good Day Baltimore.